Russians seem to have a hereditary sweet tooth, and over the centuries, they have come up with a wide selection of irresistible treats, such as pryaniki, pastila, tiche molako, patrushki, sirniki, and chocolat alonka, some of which we have here of our samples to that you all have these wonderful opportunity to taste. And this is the chocolate alonka. And we also have small samples of that, which is right on the table. Can everybody see? Okay, great. Alyonka may not be the tastiest chocolate in Russia, but it is probably the most recognized brand in the Russian chocolate industry. It has been in production since 1965, and it was the result of a special socialist food program implemented to mass-produce affordable milk chocolate. The Museum of Chocolate, located to the east of Moscow in the town of Pokrov, opened in 2004 and it displays the entire 4,000 year history of chocolate. Next, I will sing Otipel, the Thaw. Otipel, or the Thaw, refers to the period from the early 1950s to the early 1960s, when repression and censorship in the Soviet Union were relaxed and millions of Soviet political prisoners were released from gulag labor camps due to Khrushchev's policies of de-Stalinization. Otipe is a romantic theme song from a recent Russian TV series that some of you may have watched a year ago or so.
И что теперь? Я думала, это весна. 